Welcome to an extended play, a grouping collection of my favorite music, vinyl stuff, music reviews, everything you ever wanted. I'm your host, Shane. Nice to meet you guys. It feels really weird to say that because I go by a different name on a different channel. Strange. Today I'm going to give you five of the albums I should have listened to sooner. Now this can include any genre, anything like that. Basically, these are albums that have been out for a long time and I delayed listening to them or I was not interested at the time, but I should have been. The first album I'm going to be talking about today is Floral Green by a band called Title Fight. They're from Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. The reason why I delayed listening to this album was because I was not a fan of the musical style at the time. I was listening to a ton of metalcore and just if it didn't have breakdowns, I didn't want to listen to it. So to put this in perspective for you, I listened to Hyperview when it came out. So that was 2015 and I loved the album. I fell in love with it. So I started to go back into their back catalog and Floral Green was one that popped up that I kind of waited on because I was like, ah, I didn't like this album when I was younger, so do I like it now? Then I took a listen in late 2015, early 2016 is when I started listening to it, fell in love with it. Honestly, great record all around for the uh, type of genre it is. And the album came out in 2012, so avoided three years listening to something so great. The next album is The Artist in the Ambulance by Thrice. Thrice is a band from Ivern, California, and they are a post-hardcore band that I have listened to throughout the years, but have never checked out the full-length album. That was kind of my problem. I heard of Thrice playing video games, so, you know, SSX, it was on Tony Hawk games, stuff like that, and I just avoided listening to it. I didn't, like, find the time or or just say, hey, I'm gonna sit down and listen to their discography. I made a huge mistake. Now, The Artist in the Ambulance is just an album that influences many of the people that I listen to today, and it's just a crazy influence. I think like this is one of the timeless, like emo, post-hardcore albums of the entire genre. And that's, that's a really bold statement to say. Now, I listened to this album fully in 2016 because I found it at a Goodwill and I was finally able to just take it all in. I know I could have listened to it on Spotify, but I'm a poser and want to have a physical copy. That album came out in 2003, so a 13 year difference. Honestly insane, how did I go without it? The next album on the list is Versions by Poison the Well. The reason why I put this Poison the Well album on there is because it's actually the first one I actually listened to. I picked it up at a Goodwill in 2013 and it kind of sat there until I gave it a chance in my car. Best decision of my life. I was going through some hard times during there and the lyrics are extremely powerful. He's such a great songwriter and when it comes to lyricism, it was honestly just a great record to have when you're going through a, a very hard time. It came to me like at a time where I absolutely needed it, where I was going through some things. I just started college and it was honestly just one of the records that I think a lot of people should listen to if you're going through a lot of stuff. So I listened to this album in 2013. It came out in 2007. This one's the longest time I've gone without listening for an album since its release. The Earth Is Not A Cold Dead Place by Explosions In The Sky. This is an album by a post-rock band from Austin, Texas. And this album, when I listened to it, I got it recommended by a friend. I bought it, I picked it up for a couple bucks. Wow, was I missing out on a genre that I've never heard anything about. At the time, I had no idea what post-rock was. I had no idea there was this, this genre of just straight beautiful music expanded into this nice long periods of time. When I found out that this album had at least 12 minute songs on it nine to 12 minutes i i was thought you were crazy but then i listened to it and it turned me on to this band which it has no lyrics but you can do anything to it 
it's just audibly pleasing when you listen to it you could be out on a bike ride and enjoy this album you could just be sitting in your room enjoying this album it's honestly incredible there's so many things going on in those tracks that makes it so beautiful to listen to which i lied because this album actually came out in 2003 and i listened to it in 2014 so artist in the ambulance is actually the longest one i just didn't realize it till now because i'm a goofball Finally, last but not least, this album has a special place in my heart because this band is actually not together anymore. Wars and Rumors of Wars by The Chariot. Now this album changed my music taste completely. This album is just chaotic and pure chaos. When you watch the band live, it was honestly just... Why? Think about it this way. If you didn't like your equipment, just throw it around, right? That's exactly what they did. They didn't like their equipment, they threw it around and it intrigued me so much it changed my music taste i wasn't looking for just you know heavy breakdowns and stuff like that i was looking for things that were insane so them throwing their equipment around made me so happy the music was just chaotic and crazy it changed my music taste completely now this album came out in 2009 but i listened to it in 2012 so it's not that much of a difference but in that time period i was listening to just anything that just kind of sucked. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching five albums that I should have listened to sooner. If you guys have any albums you should have listened to sooner, leave them down below in the comment section. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And thank you guys so much. We'll see you next time. Peace.